Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Siobhan and I'm a fourth year medical student studying at King's College London. And in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about a very important part of medical school in the UK and that is intercalation. So if you don't know what intercalation is, uh, it's basically an extra year of study you can do within medicine, uh, usually after your third year where you get an additional degree on top of the MBBS or MBCHB degree that you do and this degree is called an IBSC or an Intercalated BSC. You can pursue an Intercalated degree in almost any anything, usually at any university, it doesn't have to be at your medical school. It can be in something like pharmacology, it can be in something like global health and public policy, it can be in biomedical engineering, it can be in maths, it can be in economics, it can be in business, it can be whatever you want. But if this all sounds great, why would you not do it? And that's what we're going to figure out in this video. Reasons to and reasons not to do an intercalated degree. But before we get further into this video, I want you to go check out my YouTube channel because over there I make videos about medical school and university. Uh, so this includes vlogs, day in the life videos, videos about uh, life in medical school, uh, videos about how to get into medical school or university, and videos about how to survive medical school and university as well. So check that out and if it's something that you're into then smash that subscribe button and join me for a lot more. Anyway, back to the topic which is intercalation. So in your intercalated year you can do different types of degrees. So you can do either do a intercalated BSc which is an IBSc or you can even do a masters in this year. But what are the main considerations for whether or not to pursue an intercalation? Let's highlight those first and then we'll go through the advantages and disadvantages. So the things you have to consider are firstly cost then points for your foundation year application. Three is points for your specialization and further training after your foundation years. Four is the knowledge and skill benefit you get from doing this degree. And five is general lifestyle factors. So let's start with the advantages because it's always better to start with the good things and after that we'll get into the disadvantages. The first benefit, first big benefit of doing an integrated degree is a chance to explore a particular field in depth, whatever that may be. So if you have an interest in a particular medical specialty or a subject outside medicine as well, this is the perfect opportunity to take it up and to spend one year studying it in detail and potentially become a bit of an expert in it. Secondly, you get an additional degree in just one year and uh, that's that's actually a great opportunity. You won't get another opportunity to pursue an IBSC although you may get another opportunity to pursue a master's. It's a great insight into a career in academic medicine. So if you're someone who's interested in becoming a researcher or a professor or something like that interested in research and medical education then uh, this is a great opportunity because the degree will involve a lot of clinical research and it will prepare you perfectly for a career in academia. It's a lot more like what your friends in university who are not in medical school are doing throughout their degrees. It's also a break from medicine. Medicine is a long degree and a chance to take a one year sort of holiday from clinical medicine uh, is an opportunity that you might want to consider, you know, uh, it's not something to look over. And it's a chance to experience a new university as well, because as long as your university doesn't provide the course you want to do, you're usually allowed to go and pursue your integrated degree in another university. For example, if you're studying at King's, uh, you can pursue an integrated degree at LSC, at Imperial, or 
at UCL, any other university. And back along the lines of academia and research, it gives you a major advantage in the academic foundation program. Doing an integrated degree does still hold points for specialty training applications. So when you're applying into training for a particular specialty, whether it's cardiology, neurology, whatever you want to do, if you've done an integrated degree, and especially if you've done it in something that's related to what you want to do, uh, it's going to benefit you. It's really just an opportunity for CV building for a particular specialty. Now, those were all the advantages. Let's get on to the disadvantages now. I personally am not pursuing an integrated degree and these are actually some of the reasons that I am not doing it. So firstly, uh, there are no more FPAS points for uh, the for integrating. So basically in your foundation, your application, you don't get any extra points for doing an integrated degree. Additionally, it's expensive. Now, if you're a local student in the UK and you're not doing a master's, you're doing an IBSC, you can apply for uh, what's it called? Um, student finance or whatever to support you throughout this extra year of your studies but unfortunately if you're doing a master's or if you're an international student it's a major cost so that I'm talking like between 20 and 40 thousand pounds for just your tuition fees that year that's a big extra toll to take and that's when you really want to start thinking are the advantages worth the major cost if you're thinking about opportunity cost when uh, pursuing such a such an integrated degree then you're not only paying for one extra year but you're also passing up on one extra year of working or earning or experience because you're going to start work one year later now this that's not a huge deal again if it's not an expensive year but if it is then it's kind of a double you know then if you're not particularly interested in anything, then I mean, then the benefit is sort of reduced of doing an integration because yeah, you can pursue an integrated degree in something generic like uh, pharmacology or anatomy or uh, something like that. But uh, that's when you really want to start thinking, is it worth the cost and is this really going to benefit me? Um, but if you're really interested in something like you know you really want to do cardiology or you know you really want to get into neurology then you can do a integrated degree related to that but if you aren't particular inter particularly interested in anything then you sort of risk doing a degree in something that's not at all related to what you're going to pursue later and that's not necessarily going to cause you any harm but uh, the added benefit of doing that degree is then questionable. And the last disadvantage that I want to mention, it's not major, but it's the idea of losing touch with medicine. So for one year, you're not doing clinical medicine. So you're not in touch with clinical skills, talking to patients, um, you know, your medical knowledge of medical science or specific medical science. I know a lot of people who come in from their integrated degree into fourth year and they feel quite rusty and they feel like, oh, we've not done this for a while. And fourth year is really intense. So uh, it's not super easy if you've been out of touch. Again, it's not a huge thing to forego to worry about, uh, you know, if you really want to pursue an integrated degree in something but it's not worth doing it just for the sake of doing it considering these disadvantages although that's a very personal choice anyway like you would have seen from most of my videos i'm not willing to give you a yes or no answer to the question that i propose which is should i do an integrated degree because there is really no yes or no question for everyone. It really depends on your circumstances. What I could do is present you with the advantages and disadvantages and all the different viewpoints and factors that should influence your decision and take those all into account based on your personal situation and decide whether an integration is something for you or maybe 
it's just not the right thing but all i hope this video was helpful i hope it gave you good insight into what an intercalated degree means why you should do it why you shouldn't do it what you get out of it all of that and if it was useful and if it did do all that then drop a like down below on this video consider smashing that subscribe button if uh, you like watching my videos and then leave any comments if you have any questions share the video with friends who may find this useful and with that i will see you in the next one.